A brandy, please. A brandy? Yes, miss. So? Well, you should have that brandy after breakfast, not before. Listen, I don't mean to overstep myself, but would you like to join me in a pot of coffee? Why? <laughs> I'm not trying to make a big deal out of it. I just thought if we sat down at the table, your shoe wouldn't have so far to fall. Send a waiter over, will you? Oh, is that enough? I think so, miss. Especially since you didn't drink it all. Thank you. Just coffee, please. Oh, why don't you have some breakfast? I've still got a dollar eighty-six left and uh, a chip. But I need the chip for tonight. Coffee will be fine. I guess it's gonna be coffee. Where'd you say you were from? I didn't. But the answer's Moscow. <laughs> You're an awful lot to cope with at 8 o'clock in the morning. Moscow, Idaho, that is. We're uh, having some sort of a cultural exchange with the neighboring state of Nevada. They forgot to mention it was a 730-mile walk home. You better eat this, then, for energy. Thank you. Thank you. You're both very nice and very young, and you're very kind. Oh, I didn't have any coffee yet myself. I like the pleasant company of young people. You mind? Another cup of coffee, please, and, and anything my young friends might like to add. Nothing, thank you. You know, I, I've always liked the informality of Vegas, and, and you meet such interesting people. You're new to each other? No, 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 no. This is my aunt. She's from Moscow, Idaho. Now, the only reason she looks so sweet and sexy is that she doesn't have a care in the world. Oh, look at that. <laughs> May I? Oh, interesting lighter you have. Excuse me? The lighter, it's interesting. It's efficient. Well, it's the uh, best lighter money can buy. 99 cents in your corner drugstore. You see what I mean? Never misses. Never misses? Never? Well, I'm not a firebug. I never took a whole day off to test a 99 cent lighter. Bye now. Wait, wait. I don't want you to go. Suppose we make a nice, nice bet on how... Well, how efficient is this light of yours that, that you're so proud of? Now, look, mister, I didn't say I want to wear it as a badge. All I said was it's a good lighter and it works. And would you bet on that? Uh, sure. I'll bet you it lights three times out of three. I'll, uh, bet you a quarter. Pardon me, folks, uh, but I've got a weakness for these barroom propositions. Mind if I listen in? No, no, no. It's a nice big bet I had in mind for you, a bet you could remember all your life. Look, mister, I've got one chip and a dollar eighty-six. Now, the dollar eighty-six says it'll work. That's as high as I go. But you don't understand. You see, I'm a very rich man, and I'm a sporting man. My car is right outside. It's a beautiful convertible. It's this year's model. What about it? Well, I'll tell you what about it. The car is part of the bed, but we'll go up to my rooms because uh, there's no wind, no draft from opening, closing doors. You understand? 
Now, the bet is really very simple. If you can make this celebrated lighter of yours work for you ten times without missing, ten times in succession, mind you, then the car is yours. What do I put up, my spare set of pajamas? No. Look, I'm devoted to gambling, but I have never asked anybody to put up more than he can afford to lose. Yeah. What, for instance? Oh, I'm going to make it easy for you. Easy for you to win a car, I mean. Is that all right? I'm listening. I like the easy part. Well, I'm thinking of some small thing that you could afford to give away. And, and if you lose, well, you won't have to feel so bad, such as, such as the little thing on your left hand. My what? Is that so strange? He wins, he takes the car, I win, I take his finger. Is that so strange? Wow. I've been hanging around bar rooms half my life. I never heard anything like this before. Isn't it fair? Don't ask me, ask him. Well, what do you mean, if I lose, you take the finger? How else? I chopped it off. Let's get out of here. No, 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 wait a minute. So. I see. I understand. I understand very easily. It must be like I've been reading so many times, you know, that, that the generation, the young generation grows soft and that the starch is leaving the spine. You ought to tell that to the Boy Scouts, but I guarantee you one thing. If you go around the old campfire lopping off fingertips, you're going to get thrown out right on your ear. Is that so? That's so. Well, I know it's crazy, but it's up to you. This gentleman here, if he would be so kind, he could act as our referee. He had the keys to the car. What do you say? I don't really know. Don't listen to him. Now, let me get this straight. You want me to go up to your room, and if I light this 10 times in a row, I get the convertible. That's correct. If I miss just once. That's right, just once. I forfeit the little finger on my left hand. Now you understand. Everything is perfectly correct, except Except that I can see you're afraid. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about that. As I said before, let's get away from this old body blade. Let's get out of here. Relax, relax. Now, just one other thing. I'd like to see the convertible. Hmm? Of course you'd like to see the car. And I have drinks in up to the room just as soon as you say so. Will you all please follow me? <laughs> <laughs> 